I guess it's not literally na sa sampalin ka or something like that. Baka sampalin mo lang ang aking mukha. I like that line na Nikki Pichan kasi people are just boggled or just bewildered why naninikip ang Chan. Bakit hindi naninikip ang Dibdib? Naninikip ang Chan. The reason why that song resonates a lot with listeners because, you know, we've been through those kinds of situations. You're infatuated with somebody and you want to make that connection. True Fate started, officially it's 1992. The original members worked together in a recording studio. The recording studio is called Pullerton. I did some work there. I would record vocals for multiplex tapes. And I met Francis and Ferdy. Ferdy used to be a bandmate of mine from, from a previous band. We already had some songs. We already had Perfect, but we didn't have a name. So I was thinking of what would be a very apt name for us. I like the word faith. It's, it's kind of ingrained in our cr- culture a lot. One of my favorite bands in the 1980s is called uh, New Order. And uh, they had this hit called True Faith. This was like 93, late 93 or early 94. We were in the process of completing the second album. One of the usual things that makes uh, new artists anxious is yung the threat of the sophomore slump. We had a choir choir. His name is Gilbert. He plays the guitar just like Eugene. And he has this take on this church song. Parang the way he played the guitar, parang madaling sakyan, parang masarap sa tenga. So that style of plucking the guitar and all that, sabi namin, ni Eugene, well, ipattern din natin with the song that we were making. And Eugene was, uh, Eugene had this song already, that had the tunes. Man was like, I like the chord progression of the song. You know, it was A, the B minor going up and then going down. So let's do a song with this chord progression. And then I actually did the bossa nova type. Man was like, yes, that's what we're gonna do. Pinarinig sa akin, and then sabi ko, oh, okay to. And then, medyo na pattern dun sa, ano, dun sa guitar style ng kasama namin sa choir. So we were recording it, and then sabi ko, parang magandang may whistle dito. At least with the band members present during that night that we recorded, parang no one was able to like really whistle eloquently. Parang si Noel was like, uh, used to be one of the staff members of the Dawn. It was serendipity that he was there and he knew how to whistle. And he whistled very well. Sabi namin, why don't you do that? Yeah, so he was there and he was up for it. And uh, yeah, and it became iconic. What? The reason why that song resonates a lot with listeners because, you know, we've been through those kinds of situations <laughs> in our lives. Like you, you're infatuated with somebody and you want to make that connection. But as Filipinos, we're naturally taught by your coy and... <laughs> You know, we always have second thoughts on doing things, let with love. People actually can relate to that. And um, I've been through situations that in my life. I just felt like writing nothing in particular, no one in particular. I just replicated feelings from the past. I guess it's not literally you know, sa ka or something like that. I think, you know, when you get slapped in the face, eh, parang sinampal mo ako, eh. you know, hindi naman, it's not literally you got slapped. We Filipinos aren't like that, especially the women. Na at that time, I think medyo Maria Clara pa rin. I guess it's not literally na sinampal ka, but the feeling of rejection is like getting the feeling of getting slapped in the face. I like that line na Nikki Pichan kasi people are just boggled or just bewildered why naninikip ang Chan? Bakit hindi naninikip ang Dibdib? I've been asked that. Is that logical? <laughs> It is kasi I'm pertaining to butterflies in the stomach. You're having a bit of gut feel that's not proper. Now you're having doubts. And sabi nga nila eh, the gut is the extension of the mind. It's one of our most enduring songs. It's like one of the favorites. 
along with Perfect and Dahil Ikaw. This is like top tier na talagang inabangan ng mga fans. So, just like with Perfect and um, a lot of times Dahil Ikaw. We're not gonna we're not gonna be allowed uh, uh, to leave the stage if we don't play it. People love it. And then I learned to really love it. And I I don't feel like that anymore to any particular song of ours. I'll keep singing perfect all my life. I'll keep singing Wag Dana Kayo all my life because that's what they want. What's people? Well, that's what people want. And that's if that's what people want, that's what I want too. It crosses generations. Demographics wise, it crosses all demographics from also I mean from A to D, you know, so everywhere we go, people love it, no matter what your generation is or what's your demographic in life. In behalf of everyone in the band, I would like to express our gratefulness to all of the fans, all of the music lovers, all of the true faith music lovers out there uh, who've stuck with us since 19, since the early 1990s. Thank you very much. We'll keep making music for you. We'll keep making music that, that we'll keep doing the soundtracks of your lives. You know, we'll provide you with the music that will inspire you, that will make your day. You listen to when you wake up in the morning or before you go to bed at night. Keep on sharing True Faith music and OPM in general because that's how OPM is going to be saved. And people keep continuing to support OPM. Hello, I'm Meds. I'm Eugene of the band True Faith. Please like and subscribe to OG's YouTube channel.